Welcome back to the channel. Today I got five tips and hacks that are going to help you save money on your acrylic paint. Let's get into the video. Let's start off with tip number one, getting the most out of your paint. Here's a tube of medium magenta that I cut open that I thought was finished. And now when we look in it, see there's still a bit of paint that can be used. Now in between uses, what I do is I get a piece of saran wrap and I just wrap it around the tube of paint just to stop it from drying out. All right, here I have another tube of paint, some Payne's Gray. Now when you look at this, it looks, you know, you're like, yeah, that's done. So let's cut it open and see if there's any paint left inside. All right, so as you can see, there's still some paint in there. So all of this would have went to waste if you just threw that tube right in the trash. Number two, keeping your paint wetter longer. Now, if you work with acrylics, you know one of the biggest challenges is that the paint dries so friggin' fast. <laughs> so one of the things I do is I mix in some flow aid in a small spray bottle, and then I spray it on the areas of my canvas where needed. Now, be careful not to spray too much because it will run down, as you see there. And then I blotch in some of my uh, colors. And I blend everything with a makeup brush. Keep in mind too, at this point, the paint is still wet and still can be worked with. Another thing that works great is using this open paint by Golden. This has a retarder mixed into it and it's slow drying, which will keep your paint wetter longer. Number three, extending the pigment of your paint. Now here's something that I learned when running low on paint and I need to extend my color. So first we're gonna try things out with matte medium. And we just take a bit of our pigment or our paint and mix it in to the matte medium. Next, we're gonna try some medium gel. It doesn't have to be heavy. This is just what I had on hand. And same process, we just mix it straight in. Then we apply it to our swatch. And as you can see, they all pretty much look the same. Be mindful of your mix ratio because your color can come out transparent or opaque depending on your blend. Tip four, mixing your own colors. Not only is this gonna save you a lot of money, but it's a great skill that every artist should learn. And it's one of the basics for painting. Now for a lot of people that do portraits or skin tones, one of the most important things is learning how to actually mix skin tones. So here we start off with three primary colors and we mix it together to create a brown. This is a bit more on the red side, so when you have that, you just mix in some more blue to make it a bit darker. This is more of a reddish tone that I'm working with, but to lighten it up, you just add a bit of titanium white. That will bring in the shade lighter. Then you add more titanium white, that will also bring in the shade lighter. Now let's say you're painting and you run out of black. Okay, no problem. You take ultramarine blue or you take phthalo blue and you mix it with burnt umber or raw umber. And what you're gonna get, you're gonna get a nice black color. It's gonna be natural looking. Another thing too that we can do is take a bit of white, mix it in, and then that's gonna give us a gray. Depending on your blend, it's gonna be a cool gray or warmer gray. Number five, brushes for blending. Now these are two brushes that I use for blending. This right here is a mop brush that you can buy at any art store pretty much. This is going to run you anywhere from $10 to $20. I've seen them more expensive. So an alternative to this is going to the dollar store and getting you one of these. This is a makeup brush and they typically come in a pack of three to five and it, I've seen it anywhere from three bucks to five bucks. So it does the same job as this and it's a lot cheaper. So there you have it, my five tips and hacks for acrylic painting that are hopefully going to save you some money and hopefully save you some frustration. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Peace.